10 mistakes you're making with your Clarisonic. Raise your hand if you're obsessed with your Clarisonic, like me. It's done wonders for my skin, especially since I love makeup, and I feel super clean after using it, but there are a few tips I've learned over the years straight from the creator of the Clarisonic himself, Dr. Rob. Here are 10 mistakes you need to stop making right now. Number 10, you're not using enough water. If you feel like your Clarisonic is too abrasive, try adding more water just like you would with your toothbrush. You need to thoroughly soak your Clarisonic in water to get the ultimate pore cleaning action. Number nine, you're sharing your brush head with your boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay, first of all, child, <laughs> no. Nobody should be doing this. Even though the Clarisonic doesn't harbor bacteria, it's still gross to share. Just get them their own brush head. And if they've already used yours, soak it in rubbing alcohol for a few seconds. Number eight, you're not giving your nose the best cleanse. As an extra step, you can remove the outer ring of the Clarisonic brush head and use the inner circle in that tight crevice around your nose. Number seven, you don't restart the cycle for your neck and decollete. Go ahead and push that button again to give your neck and collarbone a good anti-aging scrub too. Number six, you don't clean under the brush head. Once a month, remove your brush head and cleanse the well below with soap and water to keep everything squeaky clean. I like to use a cotton swab for this. Number five, you don't clean it with shampoo. Dr. Rob recommends cleansing the Clarisonic after every use with a bit of shampoo to keep the bristles clear of residue and oil. Number four, you use your Clarisonic with an exfoliating cleanser. The Clarisonic is not an exfoliation tool, okay? It's a device made to deeply clean the skin. However, the brush head does have a physical element to it, so avoid any cleansers with rough particles that are meant to physically exfoliate the skin. Number three, you don't replace your brushes every three months. Okay, so plenty of you go longer, but Dr. Rob says it isn't even the bacteria you need to get rid of, it's more about the efficiency of the machine. Over time, the bristles begin to clump together, so a replacement is required. Number two, you're not using enough face wash. I learned this when I visited the Clarisonic factory in Seattle. When you use your brush, fill the entire inner circle with cleanser about a quarter size amount. You can adjust it according to your skin type, but this could be why you're not getting the most out of your brush. So load up on that face wash. And number one, you stopped using it because of a breakout. Okay, so people tend to tell me that they stopped using their Clarisonic because it creates acne. I'm gonna need everyone to say this one with me. Clarisonics do not cause breakouts. The stimulation of the skin can cause bacteria to rise to the surface in the form of a pimple, kind of like a facial can. So if this happens to you, all you need to do is just scale back on your use to once a day, but keep with it because things should clear up in about two weeks of continual use. All right, guys, like I said, I love my Clarisonic, but which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe your favorite brush head. I have to highly suggest the cashmere brush head because it is my jam. And as always, tweet me and Instagram me at Kirby Johnson and Snapchat me at Kirby.Johnson. Bye.